We recently got some splash pad stuff in The Sims 4 with the new Growing Together expansion pack, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily add a waiting pool to your splash pad area. So since we can't use a regular pool because it would be too deep, and if we use the fountain tool it would look nice but it wouldn't be functional, so instead of all that, just start out building your splash pad the way you want it to look, and then when you're ready, grab the platform tool and make at least a wind tile border around the splash pad area on all sides. I had to move my stuff around a little bit after that because it didn't fit into the space very well but next you just grab the water tool from the terrain section of the menu and you're going to use the raise water option and then just click once on the area inside of the platform and that adds in the waiting pool. If your platform is any taller than this then you would have to add stairs for the area to be functional but this way it's totally functional for children. I couldn't get the toddlers to be able to go in this area for some reason but adults can walk in holding them and then they can also play in the water while they're holding them. But that's it for today. See you soon with more Sims 4 builds.